You're ah, you're gonna get it! Get the power! Oh, <laughs> Bro, that guy's tweaking. Howdy boys, it's MVC and today we're back for another episode of Dripper Drown and in this episode we're going to be customizing the T20. Very nostalgic vehicle that kind of represents GTA in its prime time. But before we can do that, we have to go over the vote totals for last Dripper Drown episode which was the Bravado Buffalo EVX and sadly the voting did kind of get messed up a little bit because I had to re-upload the video and then my comment wasn't on the new video and I forgot about that and it was just all really messy but from what I can tell by reading all of the comments 10 to 1 on the new video of people who commented drip versus people who commented drown so we get to keep our car and take our victory drive over to the garage with the T20 and take her car for the victory drive <laughs> Here we are at Ellis Customs with our beautiful looking T20 based off of the McLaren P1, I'm pretty sure. This car is just, it's so gorgeous. It is so gorgeous. And why are the brakes so cheap? $7,000, are you kidding? That's crazy. I did not remember it being that cheap. But yeah, the T20 was my very first supercar that was over a million dollars. My very first one being the Zentorno. And uh, it's a big throwback for me. I love the T20. The active spoiler is so cool. And it just... It just looks really nice to drive, like especially on the backside. And I think this car looks really good in orange, like that orange reddish color. Let's do the color and then we can do our other like add-on pieces. Cause I don't know what kind of build I wanna go with quite yet. A metal could look pretty cool or a silver or, or something like that, you know? What about like a gray two-tone? We can, we can try to slap that on really quick. This looks pretty sick. Just like the offset gray. Well, uh, it could look cooler. Here's like our reddish orangish colors. Oh man, that looks good. Sunrise orange. I actually want to try out a color scheme that I took inspiration from uh, Twingo on. In our recent Top Gear, his Emrys, he put in a cream, I believe. And then for his secondary color, I think it might have just been black. Or was it like a purple? Like a royalty kind of color. Yeah, it was like Shafter or Spinnaker or purple. Whatever's more blue. Which one's more blue? I think his was just black with a pearlescent that was purple. But that doesn't really show on the side there. So I think for the secondary color, we actually do have to go with uh, some kind of purple like that spinnaker maybe shaft or purple i think it's a little more blue i don't know if this is what we're gonna settle on for sure but i just wanted to try it out um i'm not loving the fact that we have to keep the roof carbon and that this piece is like not carbon so they just don't look astoundingly good together no shark fin transmission max out turbo tuned i think the wheels are probably gonna be a big, uh, it's gonna set the tone for this car. Segoys do look really good. I could also see something like this fitting, just if it wasn't chrome. <sighs> sad. Usually the P1s have a lot of spokes, like Trafade Concave, Hyperfreshes. Oh, this would match too with the cream caps. Oh, okay, let's set the tone with Hyperfreshes and then we'll uh, we'll look around some more. Super Luxes do look pretty good. These rims actually do look kind of sick. Low key, super turbines. I don't have them though, sadly. I think on my original T20, I've just got like, like something like this, Carbon S Racers. Okay, let's change the color first to black, see how we like that. Definitely looks off right now, unless we can get the, the wheel color to be a similar tint. Oh, wow, yo. That's kind of crazy, Midnight Purple. It's not quite the same, but it's dark and it's like in between the two colors. I don't know, I just feel like this isn't the way to go, to be honest. It just looks so odd, you know what I'm saying? There's no purple elsewhere in the car. It's just slapped onto the side. There's black you can't remove, so I think we changed the color scheme. Next up for colors is gonna be an orange, and I think Sunrise Orange is the way to go, unless it's orange with like a, a darker pearlescent, but let's try this one and then we can see what kind of cool pearlescent to throw onto this. Something glossy, something bright. I'm thinking a yellow. Bright orange does look really good. 
Oh, yellow, race yellow looks crazy. Almost too bright. I think I like this one. This one keeps it orange. Yellow, there's the bright orange. There's the yellow. That's super bright. I think I like it. I like the brighter color. So we're going to roll with yellow. And then for a secondary color, it's probably just going to be black. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I think black looks better just because we can't change the roof color, but I liked what I saw. Do we want to do matte black so that it doesn't like get the pearlescent shine? Mm, I kind of, I like it and I don't at the same time because on one hand it's it's just like a the, the matte black is a very solid piece and you can see the black part on the car very clearly on the other hand it's got a different texture and mm, i don't think it doesn't fit with the car but probably just something lighter to match the uh, carbon on the top would look better because look how dark that gets Maybe like that. Graphite or like anthracite black. I guess probably probably darker is better. So let's just go with the graphite for the secondary color. The other thing would be the crew color. That looks pretty crazy with the yellow pearlescent. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. That's super pretty. It looks like an Aurora. You just can't beat this. You just cannot beat this. This is the McLaren look. Now we can make this look a little more race-like. I kind of like it as it is, but P1s with race kits look sick. So I kind of want to try it out. Worst case, we can always switch off, of course. So we'll, we'll pretty much throw on all of the minor upgrades that we can do. I guess that means for uh, the bumper, carbon race splitter. Your bumper, we can do in the primary color. I think it just looks nicer with uh, the secondary color in a graphite. Blends in better. And then for the exhaust, oh, I don't know. Stock exhaust is chrome. That one's smaller piped chrome. That one's got titanium. And then those are just like chrome tipped with little incisions. I feel like the chrome tipped exhaust because it's kind of just, it feels like a high quality car, like a high quality race build that we've got on it right now. But I could also see slapping on the race exhaust. That would be cool. They've got a little orange tint on them. Let's do that. For the hood, we can throw on a vent or a double vent. I wish this car had more customization, really. I'm so sad there's not more customization for it because it's such a good base model. They can do so much good stuff with it. I am not a huge fan of any of these options, but I do feel like we need some detail on the front if we're gonna go like a race kit. So I'm kind of just thinking the double vented hood. That looks like a unibrow to me. Lights, we're gonna zine on those. Underglow, I think think we will pass on plate we're gonna make that yellow and black since the background is black and it blends in that should be pretty much everything yeah i like the roof scoop that looks nice okay and then the last thing is i guess race cars don't really have a tint but i want the extra darkness so we're gonna go with a dark smoke is that too dark no i like it i like it wheel color Oh, it is black. Okay, I thought it was midnight purple and I was thinking it looked oddly good. So I think that is about it and we can take the car out. The only thing that's bothering me is the skirt right here. It glows so bright. Okay, cool. Um, I'm getting denied, so we're just gonna take it out. Sound check. <laughs> I like it. I really like it. This is a cool T20. It's It's got the realism build on it, but you know, who has ever said they don't like the McLaren P1? It is a hot car. The pearlescent looks so good in the sunlight. Oh, almost stuck the landing on that one. But yeah, I think it looks really good. Um, the, the only thing I guess that's getting to me aside from the skirt would be the hood because it looks so like rhinoceros-like. You know what I mean? Like face armor plating but of course what looks good is up to you guys so make sure you vote down in the comment section below praying this time that it works but i should have a comment saying vote here and you can drop that down and like either drip if you want me to keep the car or drown if you think it's ugly and that i should sell it and of course if drown outweighs drip in the next episode i will sell the t20 praying it doesn't come to that because that that's a very sad time it's like damn all these people thought my car was ugly <laughs>
But yeah, anyways, guys, make sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video. Comment down below and let me know what you thought of my build and let me know what card you would like to see in the next episode. I was thinking maybe the Osiris because the Osiris is a pretty cool car, although I already have customized it. But I have some other cool ideas, so do let me know in the comment section below. Sub to the channel if you guys are new. There will be more Dripper Drowns coming out in the very near future, and that's about it. So, take care, and I'll catch you boys in the next one. Peace!